Hello, it's LaDonia here from Keep It Crafty with LaDonia and I thought I would show you how I covered a notebook yesterday. This is a large one, it's a full A4 size um, and this is for me. I wasn't, I didn't mind that I only had one sheet of DSP because I'm happy. It, the front looks pretty, so that's what, that's what matters to me. Um, I did have a four inch strip left over, so I split that in half and then added a two inch strip to the front and the back to just pull it in a bit as well. Um, but that is what I did and I'm going to make another one. I'm going to make this one for my niece. Um, so I've got another book. I have got a strip for the spine. This is two and a half inches wide and it is the full height of an A4 piece of paper. I have got two full sheets of cardstock and then I have got two sheets of DSP. This is retired, you can't get this anymore. Um, but this is what she's chosen to, to have on her book. Um, and I have cut the, the width down to 10 inches. So the height will be, um, I've cut this down to a full A4 height um, to fit the book. And then I've cut it to 10 inches wide. And then I've scored a line down here at two inches. And on this one, I've scored down this side. So when we do that, this will be for the back. And then we'll have a two inch strip coming on the inside. And this one will then hook into the front and that will be our, our front of the book. So that is what I'm using. And first things we will do is we'll stick, I didn't cover the inside of mine, but because this one isn't for me, I'm, I'm going to cover that and to tie it all in. This is pretty peacock, because I thought that sits well with the background color of, of the DSP. So the first thing I'm going to do is stick on the first A4 sheet and then obviously that bit that flaps over from the DSP will form will will be on the top of the, the cardstock and then just add that bit of pretty inside to uh, to tie it all in so we're going to want plenty of glue So obviously notebooks can be used daily, they can last years, so we want to make sure that it sticks in place. So I'm just going to line, oh, line it up with the outside edge as best I can. And you can use um, double sided tape, but I like the wiggle room of glue because you've just got that that second or two to, to manoeuvre it slightly if you need to. So that's that one stuck on and then we'll just do the back. This is going to be quite an, a straightforward easy project um, and then with the with the spine um, we've got a quarter of an inch on the spine so we will score it accordingly but we'll score it on both sides um, I'll explain in a moment. I'm not always very good at explaining things, so I'll explain that bit when I get to it. But we want to make sure that it's got a, it can fold back well as the book is opened. So then again, just line it up with the edge of the cover. And give it a good squash down. Well, that's not quite lined up. Now I've not done a very good job there and it's already taken hold. So we will do that and then we'll give it a trim. Well, let's get it all pressed into place. Well actually, that is not too far out. I don't know if you can see. Um, it's just a tiny bit there, but that will be covered by the, by the DSP. So I'm actually gonna leave that. I could have got the trimmer out and just took a sliver off the edge there, but I'm going, I'm going to leave that and cover that with the DSP. So the DSP is the next step. So I'm going to glue the front part and then get that all in place and then glue the inside. So again, plenty of glue. And I think in a moment I'm going to run out. I'm going to have to crack open a new glue, I think. Because we do want quite quite a bit on and make sure you go into the into the crease there as well so we want it sticking up the crease i 
sometimes you can be sparing with glue sometimes you just want to make sure that it's going to stay where you put it so and then i'm going to use the the crease as my guide to stick that down give it a good squash and already it is a huge transformation now my niece hasn't chosen a book plate or anything to go on here yet um, but in time if she decides she wants one we can we can make a one but for the time being it's just going to be a plain fronted one where well, obviously you'll see the spine there but um, it'll be a plain fronted one with no with no book plate on it for oh for those people who don't know the book plate is just the like the the title the the what you've named your book so this here this is my book plate where it says accounts um so that's just my book plate there but like i say she's not chosen a book plate yet so a little bit of seepage of glue there so i'm just going to rub that off because we don't want it sticking to the front page and that's that piece of dsp on so like i say this is quite a, a good quick project and then we'll just do the the back cover as well in exactly the same way make sure we get into the crease probably difficult to see the glue on this paper it's it's pretty paper I like it but I've never really found a use for this sheet if I'm honest you can't love them all so there we go again plenty of glue and then again oh no that's the wrong way so again I'm going to use the crease to line myself up and then just squash it down again if you're not quite lined up just squidge it a little bit you've got that moment of movement with the with the wet glue and then we'll just stick the inside like like we did the front but for a simple project it's got a really big impact on the on the notebook you can take something very plain and simple and this is not an expensive one this is just like a, a school type one a little bit of squidge glue there again so just get the rubber out and remove that you can still see a little bit of the blue there but to be honest it's only a tiny bit that's absolutely fine so that's the cover itself done and i think that is looking splendid i really like that so for the spine so we've got two and a half inch strip here and if we do that straight in half that is one and a quarter but we want a quarter of an inch spine so what i'm going to do i'm going to move it up that way one eighth of an inch and then score it so that's scored that one and then I'm going to move it back to where it was and then move it back this way an eighth of an inch and then score it again and that will give us our spine our quarter of an inch spine in the middle where we want it but once I've done that, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to rescore it in exactly the same place. So I'm just lining up the score line in the track. Because when we open our book, we want it, we want it to open flat like a, like a normal notebook would. So if we score it again, we're giving our piece of card every opportunity to do what we want it to do. Oh, I've got a bit of glue on my fingers, excuse me. there we go right so now if we score that like that 
as we normally would. But then I'm also going to turn it round and score it in the opposite direction. So we've scored it that way, we're now going to score it that way. And then as we open our notepad on the front and the back, it will it will lay nice and flat. So there we go, that's our, our spine done. So And again, in this spine here, we're going to want a lot of glue. Because this is not a perfect right angle on the top edge or the bottom edge. We want to make sure that it, it sticks as well as possible. So I'm going to go quite bonkers with the glue in the middle to make sure we that it's going to stay where we put it. There we go, so that's loads of glue in the middle and then we just glue as normal for the rest of it. We still want a reasonable amount because like I say, this, is, this could be used if it's used as a, a journal, a diary, it could be used on a daily basis. So we want to make sure we've got plenty of glue. Please don't want out now glue. I think we're getting to the end of it. Oh, there we go, look. All right, so then I'm just going to slide that in, in there. Use my desk to make sure it's lined up. And then give it a good squeeze. I'm going to squeeze it and press it all up that spine as hard as I can to make sure that that is really really stuck and then I'm going to use my bone folder for the rest of it make sure that, that is really stuck as well as possible now I've done a fabulous job of getting glue everywhere today so I will be back again with my glue rubber just there is a little bit well, that's because I want to make sure I'm giving this away so I want to make sure that everything's going to stay in place and the glue rubbers are they do fantastic jobs so there we are that is the book not a, a good quick transformation so, and it's obviously it's nice and strong there we go see that lies nice and flat now the front and the back because we scored that spine and gave ourselves a quarter of an inch spine um, so like I say no book plate for that one that is my book plate for this one. This is the, oh goodness me, my mind's gone blank. Fine Art Floral DSP. Um, this is a retired one. I can't remember the name of it. I've not got the backing sheet in that pack anymore. Um, so I can't remember what that one was called. And then I used the the alphabet dies for, for making my letters. Um, so I hope you like it. And yeah, my, mine, I've not covered the insides of this part I've just done that strip there but it's, it's still very effective um, I'm more than happy with mine and I know my niece will be happy with hers we spent ages last night choosing paper which one she wanted um, so yes this will be for my niece and I know she will like it um, so I hope you've liked the video and I hope it inspires you to pretty up some of your books if you've liked it please give me a thumbs up I would very much appreciate it thanks for watching bye for now